Hello friends in this video I will show you how you can play GIF file in Tkinter. You can see this GIF file playing smoothly. You can play any GIF file as an animation or live background or image slider you just need a GIF file. In this video I will complete guide you through how you can load and play GIF file in Tkinter window. And also we will add stop and play functionality with space button. By pressing space button you can stop and play this GIF file let's see example. I have pressed space button. You can see it stopped playing let's if I press again space button. By pressing space button you can stop or play this GIF. Let's code to create. Here is basic code of Tkinter. Before do anything we need to know how will work playing process of GIF file in Tkinter and what is GIF file we will know in deep way how it's work. So a question is what is GIF file? The answer is. GIF file is combination of frames. Now what is frames? Frames means images. GIF file allows to combine images to play as an animation with specific frequency as like playing a video. Now how GIF file playing with specific frequency? Basically each frame will interchange in given frequency the given frequency is speed of playing animation. In this video we are using this Iron Man animation. This animation have 150 frames. And frequency is 30 microseconds each frame is interchanging in every 30 microseconds. In the Python program we will extract all frames from GIF file and then we will get frequency of GIF file and then we will display each frame with given frequency. Now we are creating a function which will extract all frames from GIF file this function will be ready GIF file for playing. For extract frames from GIF file we will use pillow module. Here we are opening GIF file using pillow module. We are using this Iron Man GIF animation. Now I will show you how many frames are in this GIF file. You can see output 150 frames inside in GIF file which we are using. Now we will extract 150 frames from GIF file. So we will run for loop in range from 0 to length of frames. We will get each frame from GIF file in for loop through. Here we will get each frame from GIF file in for loop through we will seek every frame. Seek method takes number of frame argument in for loop we are getting frames from 0 to 149. Let's print frames images objects.
Copy method will return frame object according to seek method for example if you seek frame number 4 copy method will return frame image object number 4. You can see 150 images objects printed. Now we will add these images objects in a list. Every frame we will append in the list. And also we will get frequency of playing GIF animation. Let's print the frequency. Here is the frequency which we want. The frequency is 30 microseconds for interchange each image frame. The frequency we will add in frame delay variable. While extracting frames from GIF file your tkinter window can be freeze or can't not respond in case your GIF file have 300 frames or more then then it's can take little bit time to load I recommend to use threading module. Let's see how use threading module. Let's import threading module. Threading module comes with Python no need to install it. We will target ready underscore GIF function because this function takes little bit time to extract frames if you are starting this extracting process with starting of window in case your GIF file is large then window can be start late or if you are starting this extracting process while running window then window can't not be respond while complete process threading module will save your window from all problems. Now tkinter window will start whenever extracting process running. Let's see. You can see window started before and then process complete. Now we will create a function which will play GIF animation in window. And also we need a label for display images which images we have extracted from GIF file.
This label will be display animation. For display animation images frames we have accurate frequency. Root.after method This method takes microseconds argument and also its take a function argument and then it will call given function in a given duration of microseconds. This method will help us to display animation images in a frequency. Play underscore GIF function we will run when GIF file will be ready. You can see this function running in every 30 microseconds. For display animation frames images we will count every image from list and then we will config to label for show current running image in frequency. For images counting we will use this variable. This variable value we have set minus 1 because this variable we will use for list item counting and list index starting from 0 when we will add increment of 1 in the variable the value will be 0 of this variable. The increment of this counting we will count from 0 to 149. With counting we will get current count image from list and then we will display it. Before I will show you how image counting from list. You can see this counting of the list items. And there is index error because counting is increased from list length. Now we will add condition for check counting is increased from length of list. Here if the counting increased that's mean the all frame counting complete then you can reset counting. Now we will display animation. Here we will config to label for show current running image. And also we need to global this variable otherwise images will not display. And also I have forget to convert image object to TK image object. Now let's test it. See their GIF file playing.
but you can see now animation stop playing. Because images counting is complete if you want to play repeat let's see. Now this animation will play repeatedly. Now we will add stop and play functionality with keyboard space button. For stop and play animation we will use this variable. While running play function we will check before increment of counting if the stop variable is false then we will continue playing animation. This root dot after method line we will not add in condition because this method is running our play function this will help us to check condition in every time. Now we will bind space button event for stop and play animation. In this function we will check if the stop variable is true then we will set stop value false. And if the stop variable is false then we will set stop value true. Now let's test it. Let's if I press space button. You can see it stopped playing let's if I press again space button. By pressing space button you can stop or play this GIF. Thanks for watching this video subscribe our channel for more videos.